Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 10 June 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior online writer Tasneem Bulbulia details how unions insist that workers must play a central role in shaping the just energy transition. As South Africa continues on its journey towards realizing a just energy transition, workers and unions have expressed their support for the move and for alternative sources of energy to be part of the energy mix, provided that labor plays a significant role, that its views are taken on board, and that a social ownership model is pursued. The engineering news features focus on manufacturing in Africa, where the manufacturing in Daba welcomes back the physical event. Boilers and burners, where drones are launched for boiler inspections. And corrosion control coatings and tribology, where Toz Begbie's Graphite Freeze Line Solutions Division enters the ferro alloy market. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining in Mozambique, where infrastructure improvements and coherent legislation could boost the industry. And quarrying, where the industry is under pressure owing to lack of road building. This week's business leader is Hugh Daniel, CEO of Platinum Guild International. And as this week's cartoon shows, the outlook for food price inflation is deeply worrying, with Tiger Brands warning recently that the price of certain food items could go through the roof. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, the magazine that offers you news about developments in the real economy. Happy reading and see you next time.